everybody. I'm going to show you really quickly how I use my Socratic seminar tally sheet to keep track of student participation and skills demonstrated during discussions. So you can see here, and this is in Google Sheets, by the way, you can see that I have preloaded my first group of students here. And you only have to do this once. You can simply make a copy of this document for each additional discussion if you want to just input your rosters at the beginning of the year. But here I have my student names. There's 12 of them. They're discussing. And it can be a challenge to keep up with um, student comments made during discussions if you're doing pen and paper. So this method is quick and easy, and it's been re working really well for me. So each time a student makes a comment, I will simply tally here and change out the number. Say McKenna makes another comment. You can keep doing that. And then um, I'm looking for the skills at the top here. So let's say McKenna cites evidence in her first comment, and then she uses a question or she challenges thinking. Um, so as you can see, the little checkboxes make it really easy to kind of click if they've demonstrated a skill. And then if there's a skill for which you want to kind of keep track of how many times they've demonstrated that skill, um, you can very easily just, um, here, let me go up here. You can see in column C here, I have um, added in tally number of citations. Let's say I wanted to also tally the number of questions. I could click on this little drop down and I could um, insert another column to the left, and then I can just copy paste in and also tally the number of questions. Um, so it's up to you, and this is pretty easily customizable. Um, but then I can also just keep entering the number of times a particular skill is demonstrated. Um, you can see that I have a lot of different skills entered at the top, and you might only want to focus, and I would actually suggest that you narrow your focus to um, help your students um, have a specific goal in mind. Like, I'm not going to do everything during discussion. Maybe we're just focusing in on using textual evidence and analyzing it. Well, maybe those are the two things that I'm going to look for this time around, and then we'll build from there. But I have uh, pretty much everything I ever tally for across the top, just so you guys can um, customize it for your own use. And then I also have um, some things that typically happen during discussion that I don't want to happen, like say a student gives just an opinion statement but doesn't back it up with textual evidence or just kind of repeats someone else's ideas. I will kind of keep track of that as well. And then the idea is that at the end of the discussion, I can look at a student's row and really quickly, as I am marking the rubric or providing feedback to the student, um, have an idea of where they're at um, with the skills that I'm trying to score them for, or I can help them to set a specific goal for their next conversation. So I hope this was helpful in um, learning how to um, perhaps save some time um, when you're tallying student participation in Socratic seminar.